Welcome everybody. You are listening to the Omni Channel podcast, a podcast from digital marketers to digital marketers. I'm your host Dominique Legrand and my mission is to help fellow marketers and entrepreneurs to grow their businesses online. So buckle up and let's get started. Alright you guys, in this episode we are going to talk of the business side of things of running a funnel building agency. Pedro is going to talk to you about his way of hiring and firing people, his um, way of working with clients and what are his prerequisites when it comes to working with clients. He's going to talk to you about his coaching business in which he helps freelancers, beginner agency owners to scale up their funnel building business to 10k or plus a month so if you guys are interested in that and how Pedro keeps track of everything and how he's setting goals for his own business then keep on listening to this episode you're going to be finding so much value all right let's get started I guess my next question is going to be towards your YouTube channel that you mentioned you have a YouTube channel by the way where you um, train people on like how to get clients when they are running their own funnel building freelancer business. Do you want to talk a bit more about that? Is this something that you are doing on the side, like next to your agency or, and, and if someone wants to get into this business, um, what do they need to learn and know? All right. Yeah. I do have a YouTube channel. Um, because I found that I, uh, I just like to, to share my knowledge, right? So um, I, well, alongside with the YouTube channel, I have a coaching business for um, funnel building specific. So what I do is I, I teach funnel builders that are freelancers and they want to become more, right? They want to either be a freelancer, but getting higher paying jobs or yeah, jobs, or they want to build a, an agency. So I do have a program, a coaching program for that um and um the results have been pretty good with that with my students the purpose of youtube channel is really just to express and help a lot of the beginners out there because when i started out i mean funnels is a fairly recent topic uh, and when i started there's there were like very no information okay so it's like i kind of feel the struggle of and understand the struggle of when someone is um is looking to learn and to become great at funnels, but there's just a lack of information. Or either you pay thousands of dollars for a course that then is only going to get you so far, or I mean, you, you, you need to spend a lot of hours uh, trying to figure out by yourself. So that was one of the main reasons why I created a YouTube channel. I, every, every time I learned something new, I created a video uh, in the easiest format. I'm not a video editor or nothing else. Nothing like that. It's just I create it in the easiest format as possible and then share it with my, with my audience. Um, I don't promote the, the YouTube channel. I don't try to make it big. It's just a platform that every time that I see someone struggling with a specific topic, I go to my YouTube channel, I link the video and send it out to them. And funny enough, even yesterday, I had one, one guy that I helped out that is just starting out. He just reached out to me saying, Pedro, I want to really thank you because I've learned so many things with you in your, in your YouTube channel. And every time I, I, I reach out to you with the questions, you are really upfront and you share your ideas. And the curious part was that he didn't learn for his own ego. As soon as he learned that, he shared that with another friend of his, right? So, of him. so it's like he shared that as well. So this is the impact that you can build with just one video. Imagine with hundreds of videos, with thousands of people following you and all that. And that's a really beautiful thing. So that was the main purpose of my YouTube channel. Um, but I mean, uh, as time went by, I mean, I tried to also um, make a, a business out of it because there was a demand. So I just created a module. I put all the information that I use um, on a daily basis to be a better funnel builder, to get better results but also to have a, a business at the same time because it's different to be a good builder uh, and have a business that works and it, it produces profits, right? So I accumulated both of those um, type of information in a program and every time that someone needs 
uh, really help on that. I, I, mean, I just mentioned, <laughs> you mm -hmm. have this, if you are interested, let's go, let's work together. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, yeah, I do have that, but that's the side thing that I have. My main focus in my agency, uh, that's the one thing that really produces a lot of my income and a lot of results. Uh, but the coaching business is going really well as well with great testimonials with people working with me. And uh, I almost, I, I receive almost every single day a message of appreciation saying, Pedro, this really helped me a lot. And that's, that's really uh, fills my heart. Yeah, that's really awesome. Um, I'm going to ask you a bit more about your agency. Um, what do you think it takes to become a successful agency owner when it comes to funnel building business? What it what it takes to become well, yeah. Uh, what does it take it? to be become successful in this industry yeah. that you're in? All right. So if you are building everything from scratch, it takes a lot of energy and focus, uh, like any other project, really. It's just when you are doing this alone, especially, it does take a lot of uh, effort and uh, it does take a lot of focus uh, and building a game plan. So you, this, I mean, it's going to 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 differ from people to people, obviously, because everyone has their own methods, but I'm going to talk about what works for me and my perspective. So you, you do really need um, a game plan and what's your goal building the agency? Is it just to get like financial freedom and you don't want, really want to scale? Awesome, then you don't need to really work a lot. I mean, you, you need to work like six to eight hours per day, that's it. And you can take your weekends off. I mean, you just work on lead gen system, you become great at funnel building. So that's going to take some time because you need to know the science behind it, you need to test and uh, you need proof of concept and all that. But once you have that, I mean, it can take like half an year to get proof of concept in one specific niche, right? So once you get that, everything becomes much easier because the demand, people looking for funnels is really high right now. It's really, really high. I, I, I get leads every single day on uh, the dozen. So it's like, it's really, really high. So it, it depends on do you want financial freedom and you don't really want to scale your agency, then focus, when you're starting out, focus on being really great and understanding the strategy behind it, what kind of strategy it takes to get results in a specific niche, learn that first, learn how to build in a clean and simple way. That's the second thing as well. Uh, and after that, you need to learn the offer creation and copy. So those are the things that you want to do. And you don't even need to, to be a master of it. You can hire someone who already is, right? So you just need to have bigger margins there. But after that, it just takes persistence and uh, time and you are going to get there. Um, but if you want to, to, to grow big and scale and fast, you need, you need to put a lot of effort there, like six or eight hours. In my experience, not going to make it any more than that. You need uh, teamwork. So you need to start working on finding the people, the right people to work with. Because if you want to scale, you, don't, you can't focus on being a one-man army um, because that's going to take you only so far, right? So you need to, to find the, te the, the technical guy. You need to find the design guy. You need to find the copy guy. You need to find the lead gen system guy and all that. And you need to work on your offer as well and your margin. Mm -hmm. So that's what it takes to, like in a really simple way. If you want, to get, if you want me to get more detail in a specific topic, I can. I mean, but that's going to be like in a really broad way. I mean, it's going to be what it takes. It's mm -hmm. business perspective. So you need to understand your goals, what takes, what, where you want to get. Is it 10,000 per month? Then you don't, you don't really need to do like really a lot. You just need to get really great at getting results at the funnel, which is going to take like six months or a little bit more. Um, and after that, it's just getting five to 10 leads per day, per, per month, sorry, and close like two clients. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, I think those are really good. So just to summarize it, it all depends on what you want. So if you want to have weekends off, if you're looking just to get by, and you don't want to build it into some huge thing, then you, uh, you're better off, you know, I mean, you're, you can still make, have results, but not sacrifice too much of your time. Um, yeah. And you mentioned... Yeah, and you mentioned if you want to make it bigger, then you need to have a team and, and build a team. Um, when it comes to finding um, the right team, like what would you be um, advising when it comes to who is the, how to hire someone and what's your, your strategy in finding a good team member? 
That's a good one. I think, yeah, that's a good one and a hard one. So first, you need to do a lot of networking. Uh, and you need to do it in advance. So if you want to hire in three months from now, you need to do the networking right now, like today, because that takes time to find the right people. Um, but you, you, and it depends on the stage that you are in. So if you are in the, in the, the start of scaling your agency, you really want to um, sacrifice quality in terms of uh, higher graphics, uh, better building uh, and all that. You, you want to sacrifice quality in terms of that so you can find someone that is cheaper that is going to build because after that, I mean, it's just a continuity thing and you can, you can get, you can still get a great result. Okay. So you want to sacrifice that, but once you get in a comfortable stage of an agency, you want to start working for quality now because you have more budget to work for quality. So you kind of want to hire uh, higher end people, higher end copywriters, higher end um, designers, higher end, Tech, technical uh, guys with integrations and all that so you can really grow to the next stage and really work on on quality so it's going to depend on the stage that you are in mm -hmm. but uh, in terms of finding the right people is really uh, i mean you can make it this simple you ask for portfolio if they don't have it then they are not the guy for you right so you have a portfolio and you want to and when you are asking the funnel building in specific uh, people are going to send you images that's what they are taught to do. They are going to send you images, uh, which is fine because images are, are really easy to understand their designs, their style, and all that, if you like it or not. Um, but after that, you really want to ask for the links because with the links, you can understand what type of jobs they do. Are, is the funnel um, well-made? Is it fast? Is it slow? Is it well-optimized for mobile, right? All those things are the buttons, uh, I mean, the buttons, it's just going to depend if it's a live version or not, but um, you need to understand at least the sales page, how they build it, right? Uh, and after that, I mean, you can instantly hire and then work on the first project, uh, just pay a, a, an initial initial fee, don't pay just 100% of the phone, just pay an in, initial fee uh, to get the feeling and to start uh, seeing the, the how long do they take to deliver. That's a really important one. Uh, and a lot of people are not up front with that, by the way. They, they mentioned, I, I take one to two days to build everything. And then in reality, they take one week. So that's bad because they want the job. So they, are, they say that and they oversell it. But at the end of the day, you kind of want to juggle and see, all right, you have three days. If it delivers in three days, that's a good sign. If it doesn't, you, you need to make a choice. You either give him a second uh, chance to see if it was just a one-time thing, or you need to, you, you need speed. So you need to say, Thanks for your service. That was amazing, but I'm going to find someone else. You might mm -hmm. not want to say that, right? Just, uh, I'm not going to need your service anymore, but thanks for this one. It was great working with you, something like that. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really um, it's really bad when you're trying to find right people. You need speed, it's understanding uh, what they do. You need to to understand for the funnel builders um, the type of work that they do. Ask for design. Ask for the link. Ask for delivery time. Uh, and then, and just to go with their gut feeling, right? With copywriters, it's almost the same thing. You want to ask for portfolio. If they have it, awesome. If they don't, it's the red sign that they are really new. Don't go for that because, I mean, it, it, you are going to really sacrifice a lot of clients that you don't want that. Mm -hmm. um, and then you just want to read your copy. Maybe go through, if you already have a copywriter in your team, um, make him uh, or ask him to read it and give you their, their opinion. It's going to be subjective, but anyway. Uh, and after that, hire, see how it goes. Uh, if it goes well, awesome, continue. If it doesn't go well, don't take it really personally. Just hire someone else. And you do this mm -hmm. in a really uh, high frequency way. Frequency way. Mm -hmm. So your process is really um, based on existing results and then really try to see if that person is a good fit and just try to almost like in a fast process, just make sure that, okay, if it's not in three days, you'll know. And then just try to move on from that so you don't stuck with one person who's not working for you right 100 i mean you don't want to give too many chances to that person because uh it's going to sacrifice your business like i mean it's like depending on what you are building right if you, if you really want to scale you need to find the right people fast so the best way to find the right people fast is to be fast so you hire mm -hmm. someone they do a, a really amazing job stick with them 
And if in five words from now, if they do like five gigs from now and they keep doing the exact same thing that they promised, they are doing a great work. I mean, hire them on a monthly basis, increase their, their, their payment even just to, to get them uh, really excited to working with you. And that's it, you've got an amazing, uh, amazing uh, worker there. You just need to give him incentives after that so they mm -hmm. keep being working with you, right? But if they don't deliver a good job in the first, second or third try, the chances are that you need to find someone else. And even after that, it's not just about building. It's not just about delivering the work. It's about, do they, are, they, do they, are they feeling well working within your company, with your team? Are they following your team's spirit or not? So that's another, another level there uh, that you also need to find. That's why speed is really valuable in terms of uh, hiring uh, people. Because, I mean, there's thousands of people out there and how are you going to get those that really work well with you and your team? It's by knowing the company's values, what you value the most there, right? And trying to find the right people that are willing to work with you um, for your condition. I mean, that's, that's pretty much about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think those are super important. Um, when it comes to company values, um, what do you value the most when it comes to your business and your company do you have a culture that you build and if so what is that company culture all right so i do value a lot um like honesty right i i, I like people to really be upfront with me uh, and say i'm going to deliver in a week and uh, they meet the deadline it's going to be one week because i mean we are running a business here so if, if we had strict timelines, right? We need to, to follow that. Um, if for some reason they don't deliver in a week, uh, that happens, it's okay. Uh, we need just a little bit more time, it's fine. But if they keep doing that, it means that we are not really in the same um, frequency here, right? We, we, we don't have share the same values. So it's like, I don't, I, I just want looking for someone else. Um, I value, I value, I value like when it's like honesty uh, and then um, you don't need to be the best in the world in that, okay? Uh, humility in the, is really great in these things because there's no way that you are going to know everything. Even up to this day, I'm not, I don't know an, uh, everything, right? Mm -hmm. So um, it, the, the, the openness to, to really learn more and to admit that you need help there, it's really valuable as well. Uh, and most of the times, uh, there's, there's some people that they don't want to, to, to give that feeling of, I don't know, I'm not enough. I don't know, I'm not enough. I need to find the answers before it's too late. And most of, them, like, most of the times, that's not going to work for them. So if they are straight uh, uh, forward, and they say, I don't know the answers to this. Can you help me? Just must fast it to solve everything. I'm going to do a tutorial. And then from that moment on, it has that tutorial for all the other projects. Mm -hmm. So that's something that I also values sharing, communicating. Uh, other than that, I mean, it's just really um, abstract and it's just going to depend on those things. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I, I yeah. cannot be that precise. But honesty and um, being open to learn more and communicating. That those are two things that I really value a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you so much for sharing that. Um, just to move um, towards the end of the conversation, um, is there any books um, that you'd like to recommend for anyone when, but that really shifted your mindset or changed your life? Or is this something that absolutely someone needs to read if they want to get good at um, sales and marketing? All right, so books. I mean, for funnel building specific, you can start with the, um, the dot com secrets and e com secrets with not e com secrets, expert secrets uh, from Click Funnels, Russell Brunson, right? Um, and other than that, I mean, uh, I have a bunch of books that I've read, but I'm terrible at um, memorizing their names. So I can't really figure out right now a name that of a book that I would really recommend. But one thing that I recommend, it's not just about reading the books, it's about always being on, on uh, aware that 
you want to learn, you want to become better. So every time that you come across something that got your interest, mm -hmm. try to figure out why. Why did it got your interest? And a lot of people don't do this. They, oh, I'm interested. I've read this. I'm going to move forward. And they are going to lose a lot. So even, even if, you, if you have like a book that shares an idea and you are interested, try to know why you are interested in that. Okay, figure it out. And then make a move. Read the book. Okay. Uh, that's one of the practices that I teach also in my coaching program, which is which a lot of people don't do. I mean, um, a lot of funnel builders they reach out to me and say, Pedro, um, where can I find inspiration? I mean, everywhere. You are on the web. You are in the internet. Go to Google. You, you have inspiration everywhere. You just need to filter. And to filter, you need to be aware that you have that possibility to filter. So every time that you go, and this is some, this is a practice that a lot of people struggle to learn. I don't know why. I mean. I might ask the psychology to, to know this answer, but I don't know why. People have the internet, have Facebook, even Facebook, they are scrolling. There's a ton of inspiration there. So they just need to be aware that once mm -hmm. they get to that, okay, I got interest, interest here, I stop. Why? Okay. Um, and the reason why, does it matter or not? No, it doesn't matter. Okay, awesome. Uh, it, that, yeah, it does matter. So let me explore a little bit more and most importantly, record everything. Okay. Take screenshots of why. Uh, have like a, a notebook where I always, always, always have a bunch of notebooks for specific things where, and I have this one as well. I mean, I have a bunch of them because they have their own purpose. For, for digital strategies, I have one book where I point everything there. For funnel building, I have one book that I point everything there. For coaching, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And the main reason why I organize this way is because we are easily, we, we easily forget about all the information because we are surrounded uh, uh, with information, right? So it's really hard to, to keep everything in mind. But once, once you, you need to an answer for something and you remember that you saw something somewhere, you go there, you go to swipe file folder, you go to your notebooks, mm -hmm. right? So, I mean, I'm digressing here a little bit, but that's really important, those techniques. Uh, and more than just reading a book, which a lot of people, by the way, they oh, which book do you recommend? I recommend this one. I'm going to read it. And then there's, there's this for God, right? So that's why I, I mentioned books are amazing. I read a lot of books, not as many as I would like to. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I watch a lot of videos, a lot of educational videos. Mm -hmm. I take a lot of notes. I go to a lot of um, webinars and seminars and all that. But what I really, what I really, really prefer on that is not just not be present in that moment is to keep tracking of everything, right? So that's one skill that I re recommend for everyone to start working on that. Because apparently, it's a really hard skill to, to learn. I don't know why. But, but yeah, that's one thing that I recommend. More than books, read the books, understand why, but also be aware of everything. Television, do you like to watch TV? Awesome. Do you, do, do you get, uh, do you get um, excited and do you get enthusiastic by something that you've seen there? Try to know why. Are you in Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, anywhere else, YouTube? Did you got interest for something in specific? Try to know why. Because after that, if you do this every single day, uh, it's not even tiring. It's like it's something that doesn't consume a lot of energy. Well, it does, but that's not going to, to really tire you. Um, once you do this for like six months or a year, you are going to learn and grow so much. Mm -hmm. Wow. Those are really awesome techniques. Um, I'm a notebook person myself. I think in every two weeks I finish off a notebook and I have so many. And for every single books or seminars I ever watched, I know exactly which notebook I notate those. And I know, okay, I need to go back to the red one. And I know exactly, like, remember the page that I wrote the information. So I can go back and look up the information. So I think um, that's definitely such a good way of just remembering everything and just like, keeping track of like where did I put that information so I can go back anytime so I, I'm with you on the notebooks <laughs> awesome. for sure awesome I'm glad um so what's next for you like let's see in, in five years like where do you see yourself well in five years or uh, I'm gonna be <laughs> yeah I mean I'm gonna be honest with you my game plans are not for five years plus because mm -hmm. uh I just I try to do that uh but my personality does not allow me to do so I mean even when I share a little bit of my story, 
uh, 10 years uh, back, I started with marketing and designing. Uh, I started designing posters, flyers, communication cards, and all that, right? And then I got good at it, pretty good at it. And then I got interested to explore another thing, right? But then another thing, another thing, and everything led me to funnels right now. But one thing that I can say almost for sure is that in one year to two years time, I'm going to be growing my agency to 100,000 per month. That's one of my biggest goals right now. That's one of my focus that I have and I'm going to get there. Another thing that I, I can say for sure is that for the next year, I want to help, uh, I want to develop my coaching business. I don't want to scale it. I want to, to have like five spots uh, every three months uh, for new people to come in to learn everything that I need to teach. And one thing about me is that I don't hold any information back. It's a, you ask me, you're going to get it. I mean, that's it. <laughs> you ask me the information, I will not keep it in. I, I'm going to share everything with you. Um, but I mean, that's another thing is that the most, that's another thing that I also has, um, mentioned to my students, the more you interact with me, the more you are going to get. Mm -hmm. Okay. So did you pay for a three month coaching program that has this information? Awesome. But if you ask this, you are going to get this information. I mean, I'm not going to hold just because you paid for this much information. Mm -hmm. Um, so in terms of goals, my agency is going to hit a hundred uh, thousand per month in about two years from now, hopefully. Uh, I'm going to get there. I'm, I'm, I'm working to get there. After that, I don't know. I can tell you in three years or five years from now. I don't know. I might sell that company and go to something else. Uh, mm -hmm. For my coaching business, uh, I'm not going to scale it. I'm going to really focus on up to five people per every three months uh, because that's the way. I mean, people need time to, to mm -hmm. learn. People need uh, me present and to have the time for them. So that's something as well. And I don't know if I'm going to do coaching for one, two, three, four, five years. Right now, I have a one-year plan. I want to impact uh, up to 15 to 20 people building their funnel business profitable in a profitable way. That's what I'm going to do. Um, and yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with that and proud of that. Yeah, I think, you know what? It's so good to have at least that the one-year plan is better because then you don't lose sight of... Um, the future um what i want to say is that basically i tend to like jump into the future and have like huge plans like i'm gonna be in forbes 30 under 30 and like that's cool but like dude um it's just so far off at this point that if you make plans like so far ahead in the future you're gonna be like discouraged because uh you don't see right now how the hell you're gonna get there so um i think that what you said that you're not even planning that far ahead. It's just so good because you lose sight um, yeah. whenever you do that, right? 100%, Dominique. And if I, if I was, I mean, it's also about the stages you are in right now. If you are starting out and you're planning five or 10 years, that's going to be, like you mentioned, too far away. But mm -hmm. if you are, you already have like a business uh, doing pretty good and you are expanding, you want to be planning your, your years ahead, right? Mm -hmm. So you are going to have five and 10 years plan. That's pretty, that's pretty standard for big businesses. But yeah, I mean, for, uh, for smaller businesses or even uh, for just freelancers, uh, I tend to say plan your next six months and then a year. So have a goal for the next six months because that's a good amount of time to get to a, a, reasonable, a reasonable goal and then have a goal for a year like a crazy mm -hmm. goal for a year, a pretty good goal that will make a difference for you. Um, but after that, I mean, just do this every single year um, and you're going to be fine. I mean, I've been doing fine. I've grown a lot in this past year. I've grown more than I have in the past five years, which was amazing. So I'm in the right track. And about being the right track, it just, it takes time. And you are not going to get on the first try. Mm hmm yeah, thank you so much for sharing all of that. Um, before I let you go, uh, I wanted to ask you like a one final question. Um, when it comes to goal setting and being consistent, um, do you have any tips for the listeners? Um, do you do organize your week? Like, do you have like monthly targets? Like uh, you said to set like a crazy goal for a year. Like how would you then dissect that to make sure you get there? Any tips okay, on that? Okay, cool. 
That's cool. Yeah, that's a good question. So, um, I mean, it's really, uh, I do plan, just to answer your first question, I do plan my, my weeks um, and I have monthly goals, right? So I have monthly tasks uh, and I have them, I am aware of them. So I plan my weeks, I have monthly goals and uh, I, all, I always plan my day uh, in the night before. So mm -hmm. I, I think this is a pretty common uh, thing to do as well in the entrepreneurial game. Uh, I've learned this uh, a few years ago. And to be honest with you, I didn't value as much as I value right now these simple tasks. But uh, it helps me to, to maintain focus. That's the first thing. So I do plan my day in the, in the night before and I plan my weeks. Um, after that, you mentioned you asked something specific, which I'm not recalling right now. Can you remind me? Uh, yes, I wanted to ask you, you said um, you had to set one crazy goal for the end of the year yeah. and you said, okay, you plan your weeks and months in order to get there. Um, yeah. yeah, that was my question. Like if you have any, any techniques on that and you just said you plan them out. 100%. Um, okay, cool. Yeah. Um, can you tell the listeners if they want to reach out to you, where can they find you? Um, I mean, uh, I mean... Facebook, most of the times, uh, it's going to be Pedro Moreira. You can find me in www.letsgofunnels.com. So that's going to be the easiest one for you to find because Facebook, there's billions of people there. So you can go to www.letsgofunnels.com. You can find me there. Um, I mean, yeah, I'll make sure to link it. that anyway. <laughs> okay. I'm going to link sure. that in the description anyway. Um, okay. Do you accept people for your coaching business right now? Do, because you said you only take five people in. Like, do you have yeah. spots like available at the moment? For sure. So I'm going to have, not, not right now, I'm going to have a spot in about a month from now mm -hmm. uh, because I have not one spot, actually, it's going to be two spots because I have two students that pretty much they are doing pretty well on their own. They are doing close to $10,000 per month right now. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have, about two spots in about a month from now. Mm -hmm. um, and, and after that, I'm going to only have a spot, I'll, I'll say, uh, in two months mm -hmm. after that. So, so, yeah. Okay. Well, make sure if someone wants to join in a month, Pedro has two spots, you guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have, yeah. Yeah, thank you so much for, for being here, Pedro. That was a super, super valuable session for me, I think for the listeners as well. Um, again, if you want to reach out to Pedro, I'm going to link every of his socials in the description down below. Uh, again, good luck on your journey, Pedro. And I really hope you're going to hit the 100K soon. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's see, let's see how it goes. Yeah. yeah, good luck. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you, Bye. Bye bye. Bye. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here and listening to this episode. Again, Pedro still have spaces if you are interested in venturing into the funnel building industry and start freelancing yourself, or if you're already in the industry, but you want to get a more extensive one-on-one -on -one kind of training. As you guys remember, he's not holding back any information. So don't forget to check out his coaching program. Link in the description down below. Thank you so much, Pedro, for coming. And I'll see you guys next week.